Hello there kids, it is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming to you with another episode of the Shadows of Mordor. Alright, when we left off, I uh, goofed up in the Nemesis Forge a little bit, but I learned from Mike Teso, I think, Mike Teso? Uh, sorry if I butchered your name. Uh, he commented on that video later to let me know that apparently you can reforge the nemesis forge if i'm understanding this correctly um <laughs> and if my brain is awake enough to contemplate the whole system uh <laughs> i have not had enough coffee yet <laughs> anyway uh you can reforge the nemesis forge if you get farther along in the main story so i might be able to save what I was planning on doing, but the thing that I have currently, I like how it goes. Uh, I like the uh, old friends that we're bringing into Shadow of War through this system, but I might as well, you know, give it an attempt at the very least to see what changes might happen during the Reforge. But that's neither here nor there. I have uh, Rosh doing his thing, so I'll be getting on that, but apparently I also have new attributes I wasn't paying attention to. Actually, I don't. <laughs> uh, it's every time. They always think that I want... Hey, it's Tumug. They always think I want something to do with that dagger extra rune, which I don't quite yet. And... Ishmas. Ishmas is over there. Alright. Ooh. Sorry. I'm yawning. <laughs> Still not awake yet. Just trying to get a lay of the land. Alright. Onward we go. And that mission is... No. How far away? Jesus, Harold Christ. All right, I guess I have to go over here. I was not expecting that. I apologize. At least the loads are fast. All right, um, let's see. What did it change? Nothing. Good. Good for me. All right, let's head over here. I have to make sure Rosh survives. So we can do that. All right. Beautiful. Chair squeaking a little more than usual. Do you really think you have a chance against me? And your two bodyguards. Our troops will have a good laugh over you, Death. You are like one guy. And just oh yeah, I forgot he's invulnerable to stealth. Oopsie. Woo! Oh geez. Ha! <laughs> yeah! Today you are but a distraction from matters more important. Kill him. Ammo, did I kill you at some point? I don't great recall. I killed him, that's for sure. And this one? Ha! <laughs> Okay. Kinda wanna fuck with this guy. Okay. Perfect. There we are. Uh whoops, that's not who I wanted to deal with. I'm sorry. Ah. Hey there! Oh Jesus! Guys, I'm trying to brand him here. There we go. Ha <laughs> ha. Branded. There we go. Ah. Because I remember killing him or having him die at some point. I remember that much. So, uh, I kind of want to keep him a little bit. <laughs> if he managed to survive that, I kind of want to keep him a little bit. Alright. Now that that's done. Protect or dominate Rosh. Um, 
There's not that many others on the map <laughs> that I can have them attack. So, uh... That's a thing. Alright, um... I, I don't want him to keep him as a marked target anymore, so... I'm not entirely sure if I want to fuck with Gom the Proud or not. Right. He's got a decent set. I could probably uh, you have him join. Um, that's all the way over there. All right. Um, main missions. Main missions. The only main mission that's available is one with Torvin. All right. How many main missions do I have to do again? I forget. <laughs> uh, was it? Not weapons and runes. It'd be upgrades. There we go. Again, I don't want the fucking rune for that. I don't need it. Okay, I have 17. I can get one more done and maybe see if that will let me fuck with the Nemesis Forge or not. So... Gave me the slip. Gave you the slip. It was more like I fucking branded you. <laughs> oh, wait. Okay. That's some goofiness. All right. Got some Karagors running around. That's always nice. By nice, I mean probably going to kill me if I'm not careful. All righty. the hell? Alright. I was about to say, are these dead marshes or something? Because, uh, there's a lot of stuff in that water. But no. It's not that. <laughs> so much complaining, I should complain. Yep. Brilliant logic there. Boy. Alright. It should not take this long to get there, but apparently it's going to just to fuck with me. Or maybe it's my sleepiness thinking or making me think that uh, this is taking longer than it really is. I don't know. Ugh. It's, it's one of those cases where I decided to take a nap after I originally woke up. Uh, like a particularly short one thinking I would be okay and now I'm realizing I'm not okay how about I let Felgrat do his thing and you fuck off you're all a disgrace you deserve this performing an execution can I help him along? Because I know this sort of thing takes a while. It's hard to tell. Ooh. That looked bad from here. Well, I mean, kind of ran him through, so it's a little hard to die with dignity in that particular instance. Ooh. Pathetic. So pathetic. Yeah. I guess. I mean, they're, they're kind of just sitting there waiting to die, so, I mean, there's not much they can do. Felgrat, come on now. Let's hurry this up. There's another one. Almost through. Almost through, yep. You're not wrong. And let you take care of that. Has to do a little showboating before he finishes them off. Looks 
Sometime today, Fell Grant would be great. There we go. And we're done. Thank God. That was taking a little longer than I even I wanted. All right. Successfully executed his prisoners. Yay. Now, I head to the fucking main mission. Who's that? Gishmas. Okay, I just wanted to make sure. I see his face pretty much everywhere. It's amazing how much I see his face. Nope, nothing at all. You imagined it. It's all in your mind. All right. Oh. Oh my. And Tumug. So, Karagor's running around now. Do I have to double check? Tumug. Tumug. Yeah, as a monster slayer. Okay, good. Good, good, good. Wanted to make sure that he wasn't going to get fucked over by the Karagor's. Okay. Corvin has more to teach you about hunting beasts before you face the white grog. Well, let's learn. Hope you're not put off by my wee scars. I mean, we. They're Actually, pretty big. A few of my own. <laughs> oh, I'll bet. What type of battle scars did you get from the Black Gate, eh? Splinters. <laughs> oh, or did you uh, scar your voice telling your soldiers to head into battle? Tread lightly. My scars run very deep. Yeah, I was about to say. Huh. <sighs> the mighty Grog. You give me these. And he also took my hunting partner. So, what now? Well, another lesson for you, my captain. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Maybe you'll even come out of this one on Scar. <laughs> well, I mean, I managed so, last time. What backward lesson do you have planned this time, eh? <laughs> Shooting Crabane to prepare us for the mighty Grog? You want to hunt Grog? Then so you shall. But not just any Grog. This is a rare one. It's territorial. Strong enough to claim land as its own. Oh. And you and me, we're trespassing. I Tell see. me, Captain, you ever slay a grog before? Never Today managed will it. will be the first of many. Now you're talking like a hunter. I've got a feeling in my gut you may survive this, Captain. No, well, since that's the largest part of you, I like those odds. <laughs> so I assume you have a plan to kill this grog. I do, Captain. And since you're so <laughs> good at taking orders, I'll tell you how, step by step. All step right. one, when he's crunching on an Uruk, sneak up behind the giant beast and bleed the bastard's ankle. Mm -hmm. One on his throat. There is one place Graugs aren't covered in spiky scales. They don't call a weakness a Graugs heel for nothing. You want me to sidle up okay. to this beast? If you can manage it without being crushed, yes. Alrighty. So, I gotta be sneaky deaky. To get there to the ankle. Goes. What a fine, fine specimen. And it'll meet a fine end. <laughs> you are you are getting really cocky, Talion. Considering I'm the one controlling you. <laughs> You're getting way too cocky. Alrighty. Have to sneak up to an unaware grog and bleed it. Woo, excuse me. Burpee. <laughs> Bleeding the grog will cause massive damage and attract caragors, which is all I need. Okay. Oh, jeez. Decided to turn around. Oh, there we go. And... I've got to pierce its ankle if I want to bleed it. Yeah, I'm, I'm aware, Talion. I remember that much. It's just... Am I going to be able to do it? There we go. <laughs> oh shit. Oh dick. Alright. Quite a ride. Yeah, I'd say. 
Alright, there's one. Okay. Category for speed. Yeah, I'm, I'm working on that. Okay, come on now. Oh, jeez. If, if it would actually do the lunge attack at me so that way I can actually jump on it. Oh, Jesus. Come on. Okay. You timed that really poorly. Oh, come on. Okay. Well, that I need sucks. A category for speed. You don't say. I hit the fucking button. Oh, you shit. Oh, you shit heal. Okay. There we go. Didn't want to kill that one, but I had no choice. Ah, come on. This is where the problems arise. Well, here's another one at least. That helps. Oh, for fuck's sake. I need a category for speed. Well, it would help if they actually allowed me to use them. Okay. Perfect. And mount. And... There. Well, alright. Lure the Grog to Torvin. Okay, well... I gotta lower it right over here. Come on now. And over here! Look over here! Nothing like a dwarf for dessert. We're a sweet little morsel. If you can get me in your mouth before I drop you with my hammer! Step three. <laughs> Shoot it in the head. Shoot it in the head. Alright. Charge shot. Alright. And here comes the charge shot. All right. I did the headshot. Hey, come and get me. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Get me. Bet you can't. Oh, so close. Come on, you can do better than I that. stunned it. Okay. Come on, damn it. I got to do it again. Okay. Okay, I got to do it twice. That's what the problem is. I see. That. And that does not look pleasant. What's step four? There is no step four. It should be dead. You must have done it wrong. I'm following your orders. You, yeah, you Your told problem. me. How about this? Huh? You gain the ability to mount a stunned Grog. Alrighty. Well then. I have an idea. What are you doing? You can't find a Grog. Right now I am. Okay, whoop. Alright. Oh, jeez. Come on. Okay. Yep. Yep. That was a failure on my part. Okay, let's try this again. Step four. It should be dead. You must have done it wrong. Okay. Following your orders. Well, that's your problem. Well, I'm waiting on. Yeah, there we go. I was waiting on that. I have an idea. Yeah. Well, I'm trying. Believe me. There we go. And... Whoop! <laughs> okay. There. Yeah. If that's what you want to call it. Whoo! That was a pain in the ass. I can attack enemies in the area... Well, in an area. And I can also grab Y to eat Uruks to regain health through the Grog. Yep. <laughs> there we go. 
There we go. Oh, it's working out beautifully. Come on. There we go. I'm just going to grab them and eat them one by one at this point. Because I need the health. Oh my god. Eventually, I'll be eating enough where their DPS is not enough to counteract the health I'm regaining. <laughs> Eventually. Alright. Oh, this is beautiful. <laughs> this is so much fun. There we go. There we go. Another one. There's another one. And <laughs> your life ends with the sting of my blade. Oh. I didn't want to have to kill it. But I mean, I guess that works. If I have to. I see. It's a wee bit unusual to ride a ground. Yeah. So you feel like a little improvising, eh? Yeah, it was your idea. <laughs> Alright, Captain. That's it. You showed instinct, gumption, respect. <laughs> Training's over. Got guts? Let's go spill some, eh? There's an idea. Italian sounds like he's psyched up as hell. <laughs> oh, I completed the bonus objective. I wasn't even the aware of the bonus of objective. doesn't seem to touch that dwarf. The Seven Rings of Power did not turn the Dwarf Kings to wraiths, as the Nine Rings did to man. They yeah. are a stubborn as stone and cannot be dominated by evil. That is why Sauron has sworn to destroy them. That makes sense. Alrighty. So, it's, it's... I understand why. But, uh... Of course, the humans are the ones who are the most sect, uh, susceptible. Rather. Susceptible? That's, that's probably the right pronunciation. Like I said, I'm sleepy. <laughs> but, that they're the most susceptible to the darkness from Sauron than any of the other races. And, of course, that makes it more the threat for men than it is for everyone else. But, it will eventually overwhelm all the other races as, as well at some point. It just takes far more time. <laughs> ah, it's one of those goofy things. Anyway, I uh, apparently unlocked an ability. Hey! Uh, I got to play around with Elven Swiftness a bit during the uh, Nemesis Forge, so I kind of like it now. <laughs> so I'm going to take that. All right. And really? Ow. I am a long way off from that. Uh oh boy. Alright. Well, I'm gonna end the episode here for right now because there's not much else I can do here. <laughs> and I learned how to ride a grog, so that was pretty impressive in and of itself. So, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. And click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring uh, we can bring more people into this community. God damn it. <laughs> so share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together. And I will see y'all in the next episode if I can get my fucking outro out of my mouth. This has been the one and only Stray Cat. Playing games, riding grogs, and being a general doofus. <laughs> for you.